are y'all doing today? Okay, um, I'm coming at you with a quick little uh, review slash tour of this cute little bucket bag in the Damier bean print. The actual name of it is the, I know I'm going to butcher it. Okay, so I'm going to spell it for you first and then I'm going to try to say it. So it's spelled M-A-R-A-I-S. And so I'm assuming that it's probably something like Marie or something fancy and, you know, if it's French, you know it's going to be fancy, all pinkies up and whatnot. And did you see that? Pinkies up? I meant pinkies up. Uh, anyway, but it's a little bucket bag. And uh, like I said, it's in the Damier bean print. And it measures roughly 9 by 9, 9 by 9 by 6. And um, it's actually on reserve for a local buyer. But before I handed it off to her, I really wanted to do just a quick little, you know, tour of it. Because it's really such a cute little bag. And I don't really see much of these. Um, so anyway, here we go. So inside, it's got the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, that microfiber, no, not microfiber, micro suede. Like that micro suede, I know there's another name for it, I can't think of it, I'm going completely blank. But it's the same uh, material that's on the interior of the Artsy, and it was on the Meezy bag, and a couple of other bags that I've had. Um, that really soft micro suede, it's lined with that, and it's red. And as you can see, it's red. And what's really cool about this bag is that it has two um, interior zip pockets, which, you know, I, I wish all the little bucket bags and, you know, uh, well, including the Petite Noes, I know some of them do, but I, I really like the fact that it has two. It's got one on this side and then, oops, and then one on this side, okay? But the only bad thing about them is that they're not really that deep. I mean, like, just to give you an idea, okay, I have my, let's see if my mini pochette fits in there. So, okay, yes, all right. So that gives you an idea. It fits a mini pochette perfect, like super snug, like a glove. And that's, but that's it. That's all you're going to get in there. Or you know your phone. I wish I had that dang iPhone 6 over here. I don't. Anyway, but um, the other cool thing is that it comes with one of those little toiletry pouches. So, you know, obviously you can unclip it. It's got the chain and you can unclip it. And so, you know, it already comes with this, which is a nice little size. The size of this, I need to measure it. I'm sorry, I should have measured it. It's, uh, okay, so seven inches wide by four inches tall and like barely an inch deep. So yeah, perfect little size for, you know, I, it's actually the same size roughly as this little mid-size pochette that I always talk about in my videos. See, like you can put them side by side and they're like the same. So because you're going to want to use smaller, you know, little bags in this thing. It's not, this is just a, a little, it's like a mini tote, you know. This is just like, this is a grab and go. That's what I would call this. This little grab and go thing right here. Look at it. It's got these two little handles. And it's actually got, they're adjustable. So right now, and there's a total of, what, three holes. So it's on the bottom one. Um, so it's not going to clear your elbow, you know, like when you try to do this. It's not going to clear. You're just going to have to just actually put it up on your elbow or up on your shoulder like this and uh, you know but I guess well obviously if you bring it down it's not gonna be any better so yeah it's never gonna pass the elbow test so if that's important to you this ain't the bag for you but if you're okay with taking the extra step to go uh, uh, you're fine so yeah okay so here we go it's already got this little little pouch in here and I don't know I just hate to take up one full pocket with a pochette. I really hate to do that. Um, and honestly, I guess if I were going to use this bag, I'll probably just put everything that I have in this in the other one and just leave it. So um, it will fit a full size wallet. Okay. Up and down. It will. And it goes up. It goes all the way up. Let's see. Two. You can see it goes all the way up to the top of the zipper of these pouches, of these zipper po pouches, these zipper pockets. It goes all the way to the top of those. So, but if I'm carrying this bag, well, let me just finish. So then you got your regular size pochette. Okay, this is the accessory. It'll fit up and down, but it's gonna, it's gonna, well, it's not sticking out, but it's getting close. It's crossing the line, or walking the line, I should say. Okay, and I mean, honestly, that's about it. That's all you're gonna fit in there if you have the bigger items. Okay, so let's say that I'm not using the accessory pochette, and I just wanna use my mid pochette which everything that I have in here I can put it in the one that comes with it so there's that and then to save some space 
I could go ahead and take up one of the pockets with the mini. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so I got the mini over here in one pocket. And then the second pochette that I have is already in here. And then I would probably leave the other pocket available for keys and phone, although it does have the D-ring with this little, you know, it's, it's the D-ring that attaches the pochette. I mean, the little toiletry bag that's in there. So you could use that. But I would probably leave this other little pouch open for, I keep calling it a pouch. I know pouch. It's a zipper pocket. I would leave the zipper pocket available for my phone because y'all already know I hate digging for my phone. Although this little thing is so compact, you're not really going to be digging too much for your phone in this thing. Okay. So anyway, let's go back to this. So I got the mini pochette in the one zipper pocket and the one that comes with, okay. And I would probably downsize to my little kiss lock, my French kiss lock wallet. And that's the wallet that I would use for this bag because it saves so much room. There's still quite a bit of room in here, even after that. So, but I'm not going to use my regular pochette. So I could actually, you know, keep this one, of course, because right now I carry three. I carry three pochettes. I got the accessory pochette, the mid pochette that I've told y'all probably came with a bucket bag or some other bag. So I have that one and this one and then the mini. So I have three total. So I would just use this one would be number one. And then the mini is still in here. And then I could still use my other mid, mid-size pochette. And I could put that in here too. And really, okay, so it's got those three things in there. Well, actually four, technically. Um, okay, y'all know how I have my little pins, okay. In this bag, you're probably not going to, I mean, it's just going to be too much. You're probably not going to want to have this little thing in there. So you could just... You know, use one of the pockets for your pins, I guess. And then what else do I normally carry? Well, it will fit my ratchet uh, lip gloss case. So, and then the only other probably must have, well, see, I still have my notebook, which will fit. I mean, my notebook will fit in here. It's fine. It'll fit in there. And my calendar. My calendar's, you know, chunky. It's old school. I like to write things down, okay? Some things I can go all electronic. Some things I can't and I won't. Okay. Uh, it will fit in here. But you just have to be strategic. So everything will have its place. You won't have to worry about things moving around or getting, you know, disorganized or out of place or what have you. Everything will fit. So again, technically, all of my items fit if I downsized my wallet and assuming that I downsized a little bit my accessory pochette, and it would, I mean, there's still, this thing's not stuffed. I mean, it just has, this is the one that I carry. Oh yeah, okay, so I got my little table clip in here, and you know, I got some extra, I got mad, mad money in here. Y'all got you some mad money? If you don't, you better get you some, and then you hide it in one of your little pouches, zipper pouches. Of course this, and you know, I always got me a measuring tape. Because, you know, you just don't have now. You just don't have now. But I could downsize this to something else. To that other mid. Because there's the two mid ones in here. Okay, so let me try to do a mod shot. All right, let me put this around here. I have to stand up on this chair. Okay. So. Lord have mercy. I am so sorry. That was, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It was just the phone. Okay, it's fine. Here, let's try to do it. Okay. I think I moved the table. That's what I did. All right, so here we go. So you'd have to carry it like this, which is, oh my gosh, that's cute. Look at that. That is cute. Okay. Again, this is a, you know, smaller bag, com you know, like a compact bag. Everything, it'd be similar to like a Speedy 25, except vertical. The Speedy is going to be horizontal. This is going to be vertical. So you can carry it like this. Okay. Front, side. And then, like I said, you could, you know, if you were to carry it on your shoulder, you can. Um, this is how it looks. It's kind of hard to see. But anyway, yeah, back it back. It's cute. It's a cute little thing. I like it. So there you go. This is the little Damier Bean. Very small, petite. Um, even though it's not called the petite or the pettit. It's just called the Marie Bucket. 9 by 9 by 6 And just in case you were wondering, I am still loving my little Speedy 35 and the Damier Bean. Hmm. And I, I'm kind of sad. I wish I had gotten it like at the beginning of fall because I truly love, I love the Speedy. 
I love this beanie. And since I got those other sizes and have been doing reviews on those, dang, I like all the sizes, y'all. But this is a great fall bag, fall and winter. So it's not, I mean, we're having the crappiest fall. I told y'all, we had summer, and now we're having, what are we having now? Spinter. So we're not really, it's like spring and winter. We're not really even having a winter. It's just like, blah. So, but I'm still, I'm going to keep carrying this. I think I'm going to carry this all the way till March. That's my plan anyway. So, okay. I hope y'all enjoyed this and I'll come again and we bring y'all something else. Let's see. Actually, I do have something else coming. And so as soon as I get that, then I will be back with another review. Until then, y'all have a good night now. Bye!